Hello, and welcome back to the mini studio. What we're going to do today is a, uh, a floating flip cup. Oh, you know what I'm going to need for that? I'm going to need a push pin. I thought I was all set to go, and then I realized that was the one thing I didn't have. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to leave that in the cup. I just didn't want it to go anywhere. I wouldn't be able to find it. Okay, so the colors I'm going to be using this time around are equal parts, regular acrylics, and then I've got the primary elements from Color Art on this side. So on this side, I've got the Mediterranean Blue, the Sunburst Yellow, and my favorite, the um, Spice Pumpkin. Love that color. On the white, it's Liquitex. And that night for a dark color, I decided to grab some of my Chromacrylle, and this is the Aged Bronze. And for a little pop of blue, it's the the bright aqua green from Basics. So those are our colors. Um, oh, yeah, let's not forget that's in there. One thing, too, is after I add my white to the cup, whatever's left that I'm going to put on the, the body of the substrate, I'm going to add a little glug of 99% isopropyl alcohol because I want to kind of see what kind of leaching I can get after the uh, pour flips. You got it? Okay, let's do this. Oh, and before we get going, um, in the acrylics on this side, all of them are just acrylics and water, and a little dab of the uh, the GAC 800 from Golden, just a little bit. So that's what's on this side. Obviously nothing on this side because the primary elements come with its own mix, the Vivid Pour, and the pigment. So we're all ready to rock and roll now. Cue the music.
back and I have to confess that it is several days later. <laughs> I've been moving into the new studio all week, still getting there, but I wanted to show you these uh, primary elements outside because I hope this shows. That is some really cool color. So I really love that iridescent, almost 3D effect that it has where it looks like there's, you know, for years I've been layering paints and that's what I do. I'm a layering acrylics artist. Back, back in the day, even 10 years ago when I was doing this, the effect that you see here would have taken me, taken me two to three layers, which means I would have had to wait for cure time in between. This just saved me a lot of time and created basically a starting point for whatever else I want to add to this to make it grow into something. But it's, ugh. see, it's a time saver too. Not only is it party, this will really, really jump later on when I add things to it and then we resin it. Because, yep, this one's a keeper. I'm not going to pour over this one in a bad way. I'm not going to hide it. I'm going to accentuate it. So thanks. Thanks for following along. And the next video you see will be done in the new studio. So excited. This is a long time coming. So I hope you go out and do something fun and creative today. Or tonight. You can, you know, you can do it whenever you want to. <laughs> Thank you so much for getting this far into the video. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this. And I got a lot more coming up because we got some studio space in here now. Oh yeah, working on stuff. There's the table. So subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button if uh, you like this video. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.